We're All Wonders, written and illustrated by R.J. Palacio. They say I must be one of the wonders of God's own creation. And as far as I see, they can offer no explanation. Ooh, I believe fate smiled at destiny. And here we are again. Um... In the very back of this book, I want to read the blurb first. Hi, Mr. Greg. It's good to be here with you again. Are you excited to be here? I'm excited to be here. I want to read this blurb to you. Um, it says on the back, I know I can't change the way I look, but maybe, just maybe, people can change the way they see. And then there's an airplane flying by that says, choose kind or kindness. Um, this book is so beautifully written and illustrated, and you may be familiar with the book Wonder or even the movie Wonder. And it's about a young man who looks very different than most young men and looks very different than me. He has a difference physically on his face where um, he's... Um, his nose looks very different, almost as if it's missing as well as his eye. Um, and his ears are a bit larger and lower. Uh, and he just looks very different than a lot of the other children that he sees. Let me see if we can find a picture of all of the other children. Um, here are some of the other children. But let's read the book, okay? And we will learn something more about this young man whose name is, do you know? Augie is such a cool name. A lot of times Augie is a nickname for August, but it could just be Augie. Let's learn about Augie. We are all wonders. Splash plate pages, beautiful red. And we see Augie has a friend that's a bird as well. And Augie uh, has a beautiful astronaut's helmet. I know I'm not an ordinary kid. And there's Augie. Beautiful illustrations, yeah? He's a really cool kid. He's got his bird on his Chuck Taylor shoes, his dog and a ball. Sure, I do ordinary things. I ride a bike. I eat ice cream. I play ball. Look at how beautiful that sky is. Let me move that back so it gets... This really doesn't like to focus sometimes, huh? There it is. There it is. Sometimes I have to use my finger to help my camera to focus. I just don't look ordinary. See, Augie, I don't look like other kids. See, is Eliza and Toby and Ingo and Layla, Netta, Kalik. Jin, Tadeo, Tandazaki. And you'll notice, though, it's a really interesting thing I noticed as I looked at these pictures, that although certainly Augie looks very different in a unique way than all of these other children, all of these other children also look very different in, the, in their names and in their different heights in the color of their skin, the texture of their hair. Some are wearing glasses or hijab. Some have freckles and red hair. Some have very light complected skin. All of these children also have a very different background on their picture. My mom says 
I'm unique. She says I'm a wonder. My dog, Daisy, agrees. Aren't dogs so wonderful? But some people don't see that I'm a wonder. All they see is how different I look. And see, when he's peeking on this side of the page, he actually doesn't look that different. But when we turn the page, we see. Sometimes they stare at me. They point or laugh. They even say mean things behind my back. But I can hear them. And these children all seem worried some of them seem worried or sad or angry or shocked. And they probably have never seen such a wonderful person before who looks so different than them. It hurts my feelings. It even hurts the bird's feelings. And it even hurts the dog's feelings because we know our friends and our family and even our pets feel our emotions and understand and they try to match them. That's called empathy. When these creatures feel similarly, they understand. It hurts Daisy's feelings too. I would, however, like to point out the beautiful background that's happening behind Augie. When that happens... I put on my helmet and I put on Daisy's helmet too. Oh my goodness, Daisy even has an astronaut helmet. And then we blast off up, up, up through the clouds. Goodness gracious, do you think Augie and Daisy are really blasting up through the clouds on a water tower? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I think Augie may be using his imagination. Look at that imagination. Wow. We go across the galaxy. Look at even Augie's little bird friend has a helmet. <laughs> and he's hanging out with his pet friends and imagining the whole galaxy. And all the way to Pluto, where we say hello to our old friends. Look at that. On Pluto, where Augie visits... All of the creatures on Pluto look quite a bit like Augie in certain ways. The way their ears are set and the way their eye is set. However, how do they look different than Augie? Well, for one, they have many legs, right? They have interestingly different colored scaly skin, almost like fish or perhaps octopus or perhaps jellyfish. But Augie really loves to go to Pluto and visit in his mind because all of his friends there understand him. They share a similarity and accept him. From far away, the Earth looks so small. If you were far away from the Earth, it would look very, very small. Let me put this so you can see it. I can't see any people, but I know they're there. Billions of people. People of all different colors. People who walk and talk differently. People who look different, just like me. The earth is big enough for all kinds of people. See, when Augie goes all the way to Pluto, he can look at earth and imagine all of the diversity and the wonderful difference and uniqueness on earth. I know I can't change the way I look. But maybe, just maybe, look at all those birds helping him. Do you recognize that picture looks very similar to our picture of the little prince who the narrator suspected was taken across the galaxy by birds? And it looks like Augie has a very similar feeling. Anyway, I know I can't change the way I look, but maybe, just maybe, people can change the way they see and if they do, they'll see that I'm a wonder. See this young man? He found Augie's ball. I think this is a young man from that class. Yeah, he's, he's this young man. He almost seems a little bit sad there, not knowing what to do, perhaps. 
And then in this picture, here he is, Tadeo. I wonder what Tadeo is able... Oh, look, Tadeo is able to see Augie differently. He sees that he's a wonder too, that all of us are wonders. Every single creature, this bird is a wonder. Tadeo is a wonder. Augie is a wonder. Look with kindness and you will always find wonder. I think that's such a beautiful thought to go very far away in my mind, to close my eyes and to imagine that I'm an astronaut and I'm flying so far away and I turn around and as you look back, the earth becomes so very small and you realize how many different wonderful people there are. I'm sure you can think of amazingly wonderful people in your family, in your community, at your school, on your television, on your tablets and phones, um, in movies and television shows. And every single creature is such a wonder. Um, that thought about empathy, I think, is so important where I can see another person and understand how they're feeling because I felt that way before too. And then understand that each and every one of us are unique and wonderful, right? That's where the word wonder comes from, wonderful. And you're wonderful. And I hope you have a lovely evening and I'll see you tomorrow.